Wow, look at this color. Wow. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley Janelle and you've seen it already, but I'm sure by now about the title. Today I am doing an unboxing of probably one of my favorite gifts to myself, which is going to be a KitchenAid Mix Master. But before we get into it, please make sure that you are subscribed. I don't want you to miss any of the other amazing videos that I have coming for Vlogmas this December or any videos after that. So now let's get into it. So you've probably at least seen or heard of a KitchenAid Mix Master and maybe you've maybe seen one and thought, you know, maybe I don't need that or maybe you've been intrigued to possibly buy one. Um, it is the holiday season. I have been tasked with making a cake for Christmas. I'm also going to be doing Christmas cookies this year. And so because of that, um, I bought a KitchenAid Mix Master. I have been looking for a reason to purchase one, but never really had enough baking um, or mixing or cooking or what have you to, to actually purchase one. So honestly, this is probably going to be my Christmas gift to myself. I don't think I was buying myself anything. Um, but this is going to be my gift to myself. I absolutely love this. I knew that when I purchased a KitchenAid Mix Master, I wanted this color. This is going to be the pistachio color. I absolutely love this like green color. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, some of my holiday uh, gift ideas, you probably saw the Apple uh, over the ear headphones and they were also in this color. I think I'm just attra really attracted to this color, but I always knew that once I got a Mix Master, I would get this color. So here we are. Um, this is going to be the Artisan Mix Master. There are different types of Mix Masters. So we're going to talk about this one. This is the five quart 4.7 liters. So that's important. Um, they, I think they have a like a 4.5 quart. And honestly, I'm not really sure what the difference is in terms of size. Um, I saw the 4.5 in person and it looked fine to me, but they did not have this color. So I had to go ahead and order this off of Amazon. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed. So this is the box. Um, obviously the picture on the front, it kind of gives you a little rundown of what it does. It has a tilt head, which means that this part is going to tilt back. Um, it has a design lift for easy access. Um, it also looks like it, there are over 10 attachments available. So there are attachments that come with the uh, Mix Master, but there are some that you can purchase, like what they show here, which is some sort of pasta making if you want to make your own noodles and things like that. But let's go ahead and get it open. So right when I open it, they're gonna give um, really a kind of a rundown, it looks like, of the attachments that they, that they have. I'll go ahead and kind of hold this up so that you guys can see all of the attachments that are available and kind of what they do. Um, so that's really nice. It really gives you, um, it gives you just a clear view of actually what you can do. So like I said, I'm buying this for baking, for cookies and making cakes and things like that. But if you're interested in making pasta noodles or different sauces or it looks like different meats and things like that can go in here as well. So that's really nice to actually know that this, that, you know, what this is capable of. I'm going to keep this so that I don't forget and this doesn't just become something I use for baking. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the floor. Might be easier to take out that way. So for me, it was easier to turn this on its side when I put it on the floor to try to get it out. Um, it was a little difficult because of the styrofoam. So I'm hoping that there we go, kind of. <laughs> so turning it on its side was helpful to get it out, it was a lot more helpful than trying to put it on the floor and pick it up. It was just too difficult to do it that way. All right, so with some little styrofoam pieces, we have our Mix Master. This is so, wow, look at this color. Wow, that is so pretty. So I am more of like a neutral person. If you watch any of my videos, then you know, I like neutral tones, creams, beige, whites, things like that. And there was a beige color that they had, but I was just like, when you get to get like a green appliance? Like, I think that this is just, so nice this is wow again this is the pistachio color so let's go ahead and get into what was in the actual box so, 
Okay, so let's talk about the three different attachments that come inside of the Mix Master. So this first attachment is going to be called your flat beater. This is really going to be good for any type of cakes or frostings or butter. Um, it just really helps to maintain consistency. Um, and that's also going to be really important. The different holes that it has here are going to allow for things like air to get into uh, whatever it is that you're mixing, butters, frostings, cakes, and things like that to really maintain a really nice consistency. So when you see this one, think like cakes, frostings, butters, and things like that. So this next attachment is going to be called the wire whip. So when you see this, you probably think of things like eggs or whipped cream, and that's exactly right. This is what you're going to want to use when you have, let's say, a lot of eggs that you want to throw in here, or you have a lot of um, some whipping cream that you want to mix up. This is going to really be perfect for that. The other thing to remember about the wire whip is because of the way that it's designed, all of your uh, contents that are going to be in your bowl are going to be in the middle. They're going to just naturally fall to the middle of the bowl. Um, they're not necessarily going to be spread around the bowl um, like you would if you had, like, let's say, a buttercream or a cookie dough or something like that with something like this, uh, where, you know, when you're using the flat beater, your contents are going to tend to fall around uh, the edge of the bowl, um, whereas when using the wire whip, um, your contents are going to be in the middle of the bowl. So just something to think about uh, when you're using the wire whip. The last attachment is going to be called your dough hook. So that's exactly what it sounds like. It is going to be used for any time you are using uh, or working with dough. So pizza dough or cookie dough or anything like that, you're going to want to use this dough hook. That is exactly what it's for. So I want to show you exactly how easy it is to put these attachments on and take them off. There is a little attachment that sticks out of um, the hook here and then you just line that up with uh, what you see here. Very, very easy. And you just put it in and then you turn it and it locks and then you're good to go. And then I'm gonna just cut this so that I can plug it in and show you guys exactly how this works and what it sounds like and things like that. These mix masters are traditionally pretty quiet for what you would think something like this <laughs> would be. So one thing that you wanna make sure that you do before you turn it on is you wanna make sure that your bowl is locked. So your bowl is going to have these little ridges at the bottom. So there are these little ridges at the bottom and those are gonna line up with the ridges uh, on the plate here. And so all you're gonna do is just turn it to the left and it locks. You know it's locked because you can't really, you know, push it or turn it. Um, so that's really, really important. If you don't lock it and you turn this on, there is a chance that everything will just go splattering everywhere because it's not locked. So um, it's important to make sure that your attachment is on correctly and it's important to make sure that your bowl is locked in place. So now with that, I'm gonna go ahead and lower this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on the lowest setting. Obviously there's nothing in there, but this is kind of what it sounds like. This is pretty much how loud it is, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and lift this up. And that is it. So the other attachment that comes with the Artisan is going to be this pouring shield. So what this is, is you put this over the bowl and if you want to pour uh, additional ingredients into the bowl while it is mixing, you can use this pouring shield. Um, it just makes it really easy for ingredients to fall into the pouring shield and, and fall into the bowl without being splattered all over the place. It is possible if, you know, a lot of times as our uh, mix master is mixing, we will take, you know, any type of like uh, almond oil or vanilla abstract and we're, you know, pouring it in there. And sometimes depending on how much we're pouring or what it is that we're pouring, maybe we're adding eggs or additional ingredients and things like that, it does have the ability to splatter. Um, so a lot of times, I think before they introduce this pouring shield, you would have to stop the mix master, pull it up, and then put your ingredients in. That was probably the, the better way to do it, to avoid splattering and things like that. But now they have this pouring shield, and it's very simple. All you do is just pull it, put it right over uh, your bowl. And it just kind of locks into place. So I'm going to turn this in. Here. 
so you guys can have a better view of exactly how uh, this looks uh, right on the Mix Master. So obviously this side or whatever side that you have this on is where you can pour your ingredients and they will just, you know, safely uh, and comfortably roll right into the Mix Master. Again, like I mentioned, we have 10 different speeds here. So whatever it is that you are cooking or mixing and things like that, you have the ability to go from the slowest speed to the faster speed um, and then back down. You can you know play with it however you'd like, but that is also really, really nice to have just different speeds. You can go as steady as you want or as fast as you want. So I hope that this video was helpful and I was able to answer some of your questions. If you've never heard of a KitchenAid Mix Master, I'm glad that I was someone that could introduce this to you. If you are interested in purchasing one and this was just kind of the push that you needed to purchase one I really hope that it was um, I don't think that I said but this mix master I got off of Amazon and I think it was about $349 they do have mix masters that are uh, maybe around maybe like $299 um, so and I don't think those are the artisan um, and those might be the 4.5 quart but don't quote me but there are some that are not as expensive as this one um, I really was connected like I said to the color and the color only came in this five quart, um, this five quart option with the pistachio uh, green. So this was the one that I decided to go with. So the other thing that I really like about the Mix Master is that if I just take this and I pull it up, it's super easy to just get this off. And let's say you want to throw some wax paper on top of it or something like that. Um, and then just throw it in the refrigerator or the freezer. Maybe you're making something else and want this to sit. It's very easy to work with. So really, really like that. They did a really, really good job on functionality of the Mix Master. So absolutely love that as well. So yes, like I said, thank you so much for watching this video. If I answer some of your questions, I am glad. If you have never heard of a KitchenAid mixer before, I am glad that I was able to introduce it to you. Um, let me know what questions you have for me. Like I said, I'm gonna be using this uh, over the next couple of days. You'll see it in some of my new uh, videos that are coming where I'm gonna be making cookies and things like that. So you'll get to actually see it in action. But let me know what questions you guys have. I'm happy to answer them. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.